Very good, Professor. Thank you. It wasn't so hard, was it? So does this look wrong to you? Yeah. Because it is wrong. Because it's missing blame. You think I just made this up, don't you? Just pulled this number out of thin air, yeah? So you've discovered blame then? I am not entertaining some delusion, Doctor. I am a mathematician. I'm pursuing the truth. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend you. I'm just trying to understand. But I need you to help me understand. Are you trying to understand Bleem, Doctor? Or are you trying to understand me? Okay, Professor. Let's assume that you're right. And Bleem does exist. It'd be a counting number, right? It is an integer, yeah. Integer. So you'd go one, two, three, Bleem, four, five, six. Is that right? Very good, Doctor. All right, so if that's true, you should then be able to have a bleem of something, right? Yeah. I'd like you to do me a favor, Professor. Separate out bleem of those jelly beans for me. Please. Take your time. Not an enemy. No! Blame exists. Calm down, Professor. S something was preventing me. I was sitting right here. I was watching you the entire time, and there was nothing preventing you except for the fact that Bleem does not exist. Let's get back to my research. I'm sorry, Professor. I'm afraid we're done for the day. I just need something to write with. Please, pencil and paper is all I ask. We can talk about writing materials at your next evaluation. All right?
Doctor? Take the professor to his room. Please. I'm so close, I can feel it. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Come on, Professor. Come on. Take it easy. So would you say you're a man of reason, Professor? Of course, yeah. Well, I'm a little confused. What reason could anybody possibly have to keep a number secret? Why did you try to burn Galileo at the stake, Doctor? This is heresy to them. We're talking about the very fabric of our universe here. What do you know about higher dimensions? Doctor. Well, like parallel universes? No. no. These are dimensions beyond what we can experience with our senses. The first one are taken up by like Minkowski space time, which we live with every day. But physicists tell us now that there are at least seven more dimensions we cannot access. Abstract dimensions that permeate everything, yet remain completely hidden. to grasp the possibilities to tap the potential of these dimensions because we haven't got the math. So you're suggesting that with Bleem... Bleem changes everything. Beyond the tragedy, a mystery has emerged. 
as authorities have made no progress in determining the victim's identity in the three days since the incident. Police Chief Hal Malik is referring to the lack of any leads as bizarre. More on this story as it develops. In other news, the Pennsylvania Senate Party is signing up. Second sweep now. He was definitely here at bed check. I haven't let anyone into the room. Looks like it left us a little snack. Don't touch those! They're just jelly beans, Doc. Want one? Thank you. 